Hey guys, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and for this little uh, video tutorial I'm going to take you through how you can build a Sardu disk. And a Sardu disk basically is a way to manage all of your bootable on-demand scanners uh, in a single disk or a single USB stick. Uh, you can also integrate utilities, uh, different environments like a Linux environment, a Windows environment, but mainly when it comes down to it, um, what you're going to use this disk for is just managing three or four different bootable scanners uh, on a single, you know, a single bootable uh, environment instead of having four or five, six different CDs or, you know, USB sticks, you've got one and it makes it really easy. So you can build a, you know, a scanning anti-malware death machine basically. Okay, so basically you can get this CD or the initial ISO of it um, at sardu.cd.it and if you click downloads, I'm already on there. And it's I shouldn't say it, the initial ISO, it's not really an ISO, it's a zip. Um, so when you download, uh, you'll have a little zip. I've already downloaded mine. Um, I extracted it to my downloads. Um, the executable is called Sardu. You can see that right here. If you open it up, you can see basically the the meat of the application is right here of the Sardu builders right here, antivirus. A uh, lot of options here. You can download. Oh, I'd probably go with Avira, Bitdefender, Doctor Web, uh, Kaspersky for sure. Um, and then you can also do the Microsoft. Um, scanners as well. So the 32-bit version, 64-bit version. And um, you've got options for utilities. Um, I've used NT Password a couple times at work. Um, that's probably the only one from there that I use a lot. But mainly, I would I would have to really say that this is just for for antivirus on-demand scanners, bootable on-demand scanners. So Let's go ahead and grab our first one. What this is going to do is just download an ISO. And you can download these on your own. You don't have to use um, their little downloader. I've actually found it to be kind of buggy. Um, sometimes it'll cut out in the middle of downloading like a lot. Um, but maybe that was just uh, the environment I was in at that time. So this is 233 megabyte downloader for, uh, it's an ISO for uh, Antivir, Avira. So you can see down here to say download uh, Avira Antivir Rescue System, and it tells you how fast it's coming down and such, all that good stuff. So um, and then I basically just keep downloading these guys. Once they're downloaded, it'll leave a check um, to let you know that it's actually there, and these are actually being downloaded to the ISO directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Avira, and I'll get a few other ones because I actually need to build my disk because uh, I left my other one at work. So I need one for home. So I'm gonna actually build this and really use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, and uh, once everything's downloaded, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, um, it's been about an hour. I downloaded a whole bunch. Well, for me, it's a whole bunch. I got Avira, Doctor Web. Uh, Kaspersky Rescue CD, uh, and then I made a Microsoft um, Security Essentials 32-bit uh, ISO, and I actually copied that to my Sardu ISO directory, and it's called you know MSSS Media 32. So basically, I'll show you something here when you some of these when you click these they don't actually automatically download um, the ISO obviously there is no ISO to download of the Microsoft uh, security essentials you have to actually make it so what it does is it brings you right to the website where you can download your flavor you know 32 bit 64 bit you can make your ISO copy it into your ISO directory and then 
basically nothing happens. It looks like you know nothing happens. Uh, nothing's checked, but uh, it's as simple as refreshing. So refresh your ISO IMA, and then that appears checked. So now that now that I can uh, that's checked, I can go ahead and include that in this main ISO, this main bootable um, environment, and use it. So. Um, I'm also going to add a utility. Uh, I'm going to grab uh, NT password. It's used for resetting um, uh, passwords that you know people have forgotten on their system. So it's downloading that straight. So you can see download NT password. It's just a couple megabytes. Honestly, I don't think I've ever heard of most of these. I've never. Um, yeah, I gotta say I've never really used hardly any other of these. Don't know what they are. Ultimate Boot CD. Yeah. Uh, then you can download these um, versions of Linux. I don't know. I don't think I'd ever really do that, in my opinion. I don't think I'd need to. Uh, same for this. Not sure I really use that right now. Uh, I'm, again, I'm just looking for a way to consolidate all my uh, bootable scanners onto one disk or one USB. <laughs> Um, a lot of people always say, hey, why don't you talk about USB a lot more? Well, the uh, problem is, is I go out to a lot of, you know, a lot of customers, different variety of, of clients, and uh, sometimes their computers will not boot to USB. Even if they have that ability, you know, it's not always the most reliable. But um, I always keep a, a DVD and a USB stick with some some kind of bootable anti-malware solution so anyway at this point um, you can go ahead and um, build your main ISO so I'll go to file and I believe it's maybe it's not even that I think it's make yeah ISO make ISO and it'll say okay you know where do you want to actually create your ISO uh, I'll create it in my downloads right in that directory basically. And it extracts a bunch of stuff from these uh, ISOs to create your, you know, big ISO. Uh, it says, do you want to update the definition, updates of Security Essentials 32? Sure. So I really didn't know it did definition updates. I just kind of started using Sardu like two days ago. But uh, in my quest to uh, constantly come up with new videos to talk about, uh, I'm pushing forward and you know making this video. If I learn something new about Sardu or how I want to use it, I'll go ahead and make a little update. Okay, so now it says making Sardu.iso. Please wait. It's pretty speedy, really. The size of the ISO in total right now is 833 megabytes. And that's it. It says it's done. So I'll go ahead and close that. And you can see my ISO is right there. 918, that's what it came out to. Um, so I'll go ahead and pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I popped a DVD in my burner, and I'm going to go ahead and double click Sardu, the ISO I just created. And I'll just go ahead and burn it. And I am going to show you what it looks like um, when you boot up to it. And um, I can probably, you know, test it uh, against one of my virtual machines or something like that. But mainly I mean you get the idea it's just a just a great way to integrate all these bootable scanners onto a single disk it's not like the scanners are any better or worse or whatever they're just all in a single place okay um, I'm actually using my virtual machine now I built my Sardu disk and uh, burned it. It's on my DVD now. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up to that DVD and kind of show you what it looks like. 
So this is it. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can boot from your hard drive or you can use these different um, menu systems here. So we can go to tools. Uh, they've got some integrated utilities. Um, the, the you know the big one obviously for 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 me would be uh, menu antivirus. Let's see what we have loaded. We can boot to Avira, Doctor Web, Kaspersky, or Microsoft. So I'll go back, and then I have my utility that I integrated. So boot from NT password, so I can break passwords. You know, you know, customer forgot their password or whatever. I can get on and reset their password. So just for the heck of it, um, I'm sure you kind of know what's going to happen. You know, when you boot into one of these, uh, you're going to scan an infected computer and clean it up pretty well. And if you're going to be booting into all of these scanning, um, I mean, you're going to you're going to beat the holy hell out of the malware that's on there. But also keep in mind that. Um, a lot of times when you're removing malware, uh, this operating system can get extremely damaged to where you'll have to do like a repair install. Uh, so, you know, I'd kind of be uh, be a little careful. Uh, if you want to actually disinfect stuff, uh, I would use Kaspersky or Dr. Web. These are great for getting rid of uh, rootkits without actually deleting files. Um, I should also state that if you're infected with anything ever, you can never be 100% sure that you're actually clean. Uh, the only way to be totally, totally clean is to, you know, format your drive, um, use something like boot and nuke, uh, or uh, that's you know stick a new drive in there or something like that if you're extremely paranoid. But anyway, aside from that, uh, I can use a. Uh, well, let's go ahead and try a boot from Dr. Web Live CD. See what that looks like. So I move it up there, click enter. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the standard Dr. Web uh, default. And um, I would make sure that you are connected to a network connection because these things love to have active network connections so that you can do updating in the bootable environment. So you can see right now it's actually we're out of the actual Sardu environment actually using the Dr. Web bootable environment. So that's uh that's pretty much it really so far. Um like I said, I just kind of started using it. I just wanted to kind of, you know, create a little video of my findings and I really dig it so far. I mean, it's so sweet not to carry around multiple disks or to get rid of some of my disks disks uh because that stuff uh you know, get kind of annoying. So, I've got everything on one stick everything on one DVD now so it's awesome so that's it for tonight I'm gonna go ahead and just upload this video and um, I'll probably come back tomorrow with uh, something else I'm trying to pump out a lot of videos now so um, if you guys have anything you want uh, me to take a look at or you got any ideas for some new stuff that uh, I should be doing just let me know so I will see you guys